Okay, this is just going to be a quick video, uh, which was actually triggered by a friend of mine who had sent um, an article about investing to one of his family members. And uh, the, the family member couldn't get through the article. The, something in the first paragraph triggered him. He didn't like the tone of the writer and he couldn't get through it uh, through that first paragraph. So needless to say, say he didn't read the article. Um, so th there's two things I want to say about this. Um, and they both pertain to what strategy you what strategy you are going to use for information gathering, for reading the things around you or ingesting information. And the bottom line is most people don't have a strategy, right? They just, they read things, things are put in front of them, usually by the media. Uh, and I'm using passive voice in that example on purpose because it's a fundamentally passive thing to wait for the media to bring you information when really you want to go out and get the information that will inform you, right? So you don't want to outsource your informing or the act of informing yourself to someone else like the media who most likely doesn't have your interests in mind, right? So it gets to your approach for your informational reality. And we talked about this on another video, uh, video 99, talked about the subject a little bit of a different angle. But in this particular case, there's, there's two points I want to make. One is you got to know your logic fallacies. You have to know at least the basic ones so that you're not tripped up. And the, uh, the particular logic fallacy in the case of uh, my friend's family member, the fallacy was the tone fallacy, or sometimes it's called the genetic fallacy, where because you don't like the tone or you don't like the nature of the message you're getting, you will reject the message, right? I don't like that guy's tone, therefore I'm not going to read his article, therefore his argument and whatever he says uh, is invalidated, therefore invalidated. And of course, that's a fallacy, right? There can be, th these are two separate things. There's a tone and then there's the actual argument itself, right? And the tone may contribute or detract from the persuasiveness of the argument, but that's just operating on a rhetoric level, right? That has nothing to do with the inherent logic of or insight of the article itself or the video itself. So you want to understand that the tone fallacy, if you're, if you're put off by somebody's tone, then the argument is invalidated for a false reason or you don't pursue or consider the argument for a phony reason, right? And in the description of this video, I'll link to a couple of articles that I've written uh, on a long defunct blog that I had years ago about writing. Um, I'll talk about or I'll, I'll link to some articles I've written about the, the basic logic fallacies. So the first thing I want to just get across is know all the major logic fallacies. And so then once you know them, you can see them and then you won't get tripped up by them. OK, uh, and this takes us to the second point, which, again, is just for me to encourage you to be meta and sort of active, not passive, about how you ingest information. So when you see, uh, maybe you see a reaction in yourself to a piece of information, to see it in real time and not be put off and actually say, ah, okay, I, there's something about this guy's tone that bothers me. Okay, interesting, but I'm not going to get tripped up by the tone fallacy, right? And so then you can make an active decision to either continue to read the article or not, rather than just be put off put away the article and then uh, basically miss it altogether, right? And, and think about it. If you navigate reality with like a hair trigger reflex to shut down, you know, some insight or shut down some book or shut down some TV channel, then you're basically, that's not active, right? That is passive in the sense that it's just luck whether you're triggered to shut down something and you're not actually awake to arguments that may reach you. So you want to kind of make sure that this trigger is something you control, not that something that just goes off and then you just close a window and stop reading, right? And it turned out this, this article that my friend supplied, uh, if I think it's the one I, I don't actually know precisely what the article was, but I know the source. And it's from um, an information source that's actually very, very useful. It's the uh, the Bowtie Bull uh, group, which they're on Twitter and they have a paid Substack, which is incredibly helpful for kind of navigating the postmodern financial environment. Uh, but they do use a very aggressive tone and, and sort of they're very declarative in how they say things. And so, yeah, you have to sort of eat that in order to actively ingest their ideas, which have merit, right? So, um I guess the takeaway is be strategic, not passive, 
Don't let yourself get instantly put off by something or tripped up by some logic fallacy. Instead, put yourself in a position where you can observe and see logic fallacies and don't commit them. And then you can be much more active and more meta and more sort of self-directive, self-directed with your information gathering and you can make more active decisions about what you choose to read rather than having kind of your ego or your emotional sort of your limbic system for, for lack of a better phrase your limbic system deciding f for you whether you continue to read or ingest an idea instead you are going to do it actively by recognizing the reactions of your limbic system or of your ego to something and then making an active decision whether to continue reading or not okay so these are the two ideas just you want to know your logic fallacies and uh, you also want to be very very meta about your information gathering strategies so that you can choose where your insights come from rather than being passive uh, about, about that decision all right thanks for watching as always and i hope these videos are helpful